Hello, welcome to the video on the Slope Across Pipe app by Red Transit Consultants. This app is for AutoCAD Civil 3D pipe networks. This is an automation app that will help save considerable amount of time in entering in pipe elevation information and slope information. Currently within the software there are two primary ways of entering in this information. One is to create your pipe network, export it out into storm and sanitary analysis or storm sewer software and where you would size the pipe, set inverts, set slopes, and then you would bring it back in and the pipes would have that information uh, retained in it. <clears throat> that process isn't always used by engineers and some projects aren't aren't of the size that it, that uh, process is really necessary to get into. So. A lot of people out there are, are still using Excel spreadsheets um, for managing their storm calculations and in, uh, invert elevation information. And so uh, designers will have to come in and click on each pipe, go into pipe properties, figure out which end of the pipe is the start, which end is the end, and then enter in an invert, um, the start invert or end invert or if you're working off of crowns or center lines, entering in that information. And then they'll have to enter in the slope, uh, which end of the pipe to hold to automatically calculate the other end of the pipe. And that process has to be repeated over and over um, you know, throughout the network. So this app automates that process and allows you to select very few objects and then automatically run through the network and set information. So upon installation, you'll have two buttons, a pipe slope single and a pipe slope multiple. Within either one of these commands, we can get in and go to the settings. And the settings um, will <clears throat> have a combo box here that allows you to hold the inverts, hold the center line, or hold the crown of the pipes. Um, this is more uh, I mean, it, it works for both modes, but it's more for the multiple mode as it's um, going through and entering in that information. On the single mode, it's just going to set the one invert uh, or or start center line or end center line elevation and then apply a, a slope. So uh, I'm going to leave it set to inverts. <clears throat> this app will also uh, go through and allow you for allow you to do um, drop uh, a drop elevation within each manhole um, and it the app automatically checks to see if a manhole or, or a structure is null or not and if it's if it's not null then it applies the drop um, that way you might have a, two pipes connecting but you have to have a structure in between and uh, you typically would not want uh, a drop in that in that location. So I give the ability to, you know, set the drop at a null structure if you wanted to, for whatever uh, chance that that might happen. So with that, I'm going to get into the pipe slope multiple. One other thing, I guess, with both of these commands. They both work from either plan view or profile view, and I'll run through that here. So we'll, we'll begin with uh, the pipe slope command. So the slope command is going to ask you for a start and an end, and then it's going to collect the pipes in that run, and then it's going to ask you for a start in, uh, uh, an invert nearest to the start object that you selected, and then a slope to apply through that run. The elevation portion is going to prompt you to select a start and an end object and then it's going to get the start invert and the end invert of the object and it's going to automatically calculate the length whether or not there's any drops in there and give you uh, a slope uh, automatically calculate what the slope is. So. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit more here in this video. To start with a slope, I'm going to start uh, in plan view here. 
So you have the ability to select a start structure or pipe. So you can pick a structure or the pipe to begin your, your run. But we want to start at this location. And I'm going to carry that up this line all the way to the end. And it's giving me the start invert elevation is 641.54. And we saw that here. Basically what we're looking at is, is that run there all the way up. So 651, 548. This is the invert, even though this leader is pointed to the center line, it is the invert of the pipe. So I'm going to type in 640 as our invert. And I'm going to say let's do a 1.5% slope. And I don't want to drop. So you can see we have five pipe slopes updated to 1.5% and six structures were updated. The structure updates are just so that if the structure has a sump or anything like that, they have to update to wherever the pipe is at and resize itself. So when we look in profile view, we can see that it, the pipe has been set to 640 and we're running at 1.5%. And then you can see you're holding the invert elevation of the pipe all the way through. So the invert is being held there all the way up the end. And if we want to look at the pipe properties here, you can see it's being held at 1.5%. And the start invert elevation is 640. So again, this app does not, it, it doesn't matter what the start and the end of the pipe is, the app will automatically figure that out for you. Uh, so however you enter that in. I'm going to run this again through the multiple mode and I'm going to change the setting to do crowns. Let's hold the crown elevation. Pick the start structure here. I typically like to work with structures but you can pick pipes as well. And it's giving me the crown elevation of this pipe is 642. Let's call this 641, and let's do a 2% slope. And let's go ahead and do a drop of 0.1 in each structure. So you can see all the way through that run, it's applying, oops, get into the pipe properties here. So the crown elevation is 641. We've set a 2% slope through there, and we're doing a 0.1 drop all the way through. And this profile is skewed by 10, so that's why it's coming out at one foot. And you can see the crowns are being, being held with the drop. So if we come back in and say no drop, we could you know quickly make that adjustment by starting with the 641, 0.02%. Let's do the zero. You can see it all adjust. And now we're holding crowns all the way through our pipes. So you can hold the center line, you can hold the invert, you can hold the crown. Some additional features of this uh, this command so you can select plan and profile if you're working in profile though sometimes you might need to select um, an object in profile view to use as your elevation so within the command line you'll see that ability uh, so we have this 641 here and let's say we want to set you know the invert or the the crown to match uh, you know, this pipes crown so we can say select from profile. You have to pick the profile view that you're working with and then we can pick a point anywhere in this profile. And wherever I pick, it's gonna inherit the elevation of that point and apply it to this pipe. So it doesn't really matter what the start, what the station is. So I picked 642.298 is my point. And you'll see all my pipes adjust accordingly. 
All right, let's do one by elevations. So with elevations, we're going to pick the structure here. And then again, I can select from profile view, or I can type in a start value. Let's say I want 641. And then it gives me the ability to set the end elevation. And that end elevation is this very last pipe. So the very last pipe is currently set at 653.76. So I can use the select from profile view if I know that I have a building pad up here. Let's say this is a connection point to a building um, sanitary line or something like that. And we have to be four foot below the slab. So I could have a, a line in there that you know that represents that object. In this case, I'm just going to call it 650. And then if there's any drops in any structures along that way, you can you know, have the app calculate that for you. And it's going to give you the slope that it needs to set on these pipes. So it's using the length, calculating the drop values, and then applying a slope. So between the two elevations that we picked and the length of this run, it's giving you the slope of 1.881 to use within the within the um, pipe. So if we look at the pipe properties, you can see it's using that slope value that it calculated. So that's the pipe slope multiple mode. The single mode, but again, pipe slope multiple, if you were to pick a run that only has one pipe in it, it's going to tell you that it can't run, and that's part of the, the, the function of the app um, and how it determines which ends the start end and which ends the, the end of the pipe. So if you're just doing one pipe at a time, you would just use the pipe slope single. So in that case, again, you can pick either plan view or profile view with this, with this app. And we'll start with um, profile view. So let's say we have this pipe here, and now we have this information set. So I want to make sure that this pipe crown matches this pipe's crown. So I can select the I can select this pipe here, and the way this app works is you pick the end of the pipe that you want to adjust. So whatever end you pick is that's going to be your your end that it's going to set the inverts or, or whatever elevation you're working with and then holding the slope value from that end as well. So I'm going to pick that pipe. And this app gives you the ability to select a neighboring pipe for elevation. So if I wanted uh, this pipe's information, I can select the pipe. And I'll pick this pipe. And there's no drop. And it's telling me the crown of that pipe is at 641. Let's hit enter, and then the pipe is currently at a 2%. Well, yes, let's leave it at 2%, and it's going to drop that pipe down for you. So now over in plan view, if I run pipe slope single, I can pick this run. So we just adjusted this pipe, and we've adjusted this run here, this run to the north here. We're going to, I'm going to pick this end. It's going to tell me that pipe's at 624. So I can type in a value, or again, I can select a neighboring pipe. And it's going to give me the ability to do a drop. So if I want to put a 0.1 drop in there, I can. And then it's going to tell me that the slope of that pipe is currently at 0.08. If I want that to be 0.02, I can set that. And then I can come in here, pipe properties, and I can see that the crown elevation was held at 641 plus the 0.1 for the drop that we entered in. And then we're holding the end of the pipe this time at 2%. And if you take a look, hover over the cursor, that is the end point of the pipe. The other end is the start. So this pipe was drawn coming back in this way. So that's all there is to demonstrate here with the pipe slope app. It's a, uh, a 
a very time-saving app in my opinion as far as uh, making these adjustments instead of having to click on each pipe you can run through a number of iterations and uh, you know play with your designs a little bit more uh, and uh, so if you have any questions feel free to email me uh, at steve at redtransitconsultants.com be happy to answer any questions on this app um, thanks for watching. You can find the app on the App Store. It is $25 per uh, license currently listed on the store price. Thanks.